Stretch can also make working with users pretty easy. You can create users, you can modify the rules associated with the user, you can set their password, and you can remove user accounts. So let's go ahead and do a quick whirlwind tour of all of those features. So first of all, let's create a user. Okay, so we use Drush, and the command is user-create. Right after user create, we put the username of the user, and then we can pass two parameters. The email address, which is mail, so dash dash mail equals, and then the email address, and then the second parameter is password. If we hit enter, the user will be created, and we'll see some information here about that user, including the user ID and the status of the user. Now, if we wanted to see this kind of information for any user, we could use the user information command. So let's go ahead and take a look at the information for the administrative account, which has the username admin, by using drush, user-information, and then the username. I'm going to hit enter, and we see it has a user ID of 1, we have the email address, and so on. Most of the time when we create a user, we'll want to add some user roles to it. So let's go ahead and do that with our new test user account. So the command we're using here is drush, user-add-role, and then the name of the role, in quotes, in this case, we're assigning the role blog editor, which may or may not exist on your installation, depending on if you've been following along with the other video tutorials in this collection. And then we can specify a number of users to assign this role to. We can use the user ID, the username, which is what we're doing in this case, or the email address, and it will assign users that match any of those criteria this particular role. Now, if we wanted to add more users, we would simply do a comma, and then we could, for example, put the user ID 2 here. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. When we did this, we got an error saying that we couldn't find the search term 2. This means that we don't have a user account that has a UID 2, but that didn't stop it from adding the role to our other user that does exist, test user here. And we got confirmation here that the role was added to it. And now if we looked at the user information for this user, by using the command drush user information test user and hit enter, we'd see that this user now has the role blog editor. We can also remove this role, and I bet you can figure out how. We're simply going to use drush user dash remove dash role. So this is the same as user add role, except it's remove. The name of the role to remove, and the username, user ID, or email address of the account to remove it from. And we get confirmation here that the role was removed. One common scenario if you're running a site that has multiple users is that your users will forget their passwords. And while they can go to the site to fill out the password reset form, sometimes you might be dealing with a user on the phone and you need to reset the password manually. So we can do that with the user password command. So the full command here is drush user dash password and then the username of the user to set the password for. And then we're passing the password parameter and the value of that parameter is the new password. We can hit enter here. And even though we didn't get confirmation, the password has been reset. Another common scenario is that you have a user that is abusing their account in some way and you need to block them. To do that, we can use drush, user-block, and then we can pass the username of the user. And again, we can pass a set of usernames, user IDs, and email addresses in order to block multiple users if we need to. In this case, we're just doing the single user test user. And now if we took a look at this user information again with drush user-information test user, we would see that the user is now blocked. If we want to unblock them, we'll simply copy the user block command over and we'll add un in order to say drush user unblock test user. And now if we run the user information command again, we'll see that the user is now active. If we need to completely delete an account, we can do that too with the command drush user-cancel test user. I'm going to hit enter, and we get a confirmation here and some information about the user just to make sure that this is the user that we want to remove. I'm going to type Y and hit enter, and it says the test user has been deleted. Now, at first, doing something like this in drush will be a little bit tricky because you have to remember the commands to use, but after doing it once or twice, you'll get familiar enough with it that it will be a lot quicker to use Drush in order to perform these actions than go through multiple pages in the Drupal interface in order to do the same thing.